Introducing Aiden Anderson, a 16-year-old kid from Oak Cliff, Texas, a rising star in boxing who attends Carter with high hopes of one day becoming pro. How's everybody doing today? We're here to talk to Aiden about him and his boxing journey. My name is Kelvin. His name is Aiden Anderson. He's 16 from Oak Cliff, Texas. So Aiden, we know boxing is a very pivotal sport. It's not the easiest thing to do in the world. So what made you want to get into it? What made you say one day, hey, let me throw my hat in the ring and show the world what I got? Uh, I used to get in a lot of fights at school. So this is what kept me from stop fighting at school and be humble. Okay, cool. Um, do you do anything outside of boxing? No, nah, that's the only thing I do, boxing. How, boxing is your hobby? Yes, sir. Boxing is life? Yes, sir. That's good to hear, man. Okay. All right, we, you know, we know you from Oak Cliff, but what part of Oak Cliff, man? You know, how was it, you know, growing up? How was it? Uh, it was good growing up. Fun. I had a lot of fun, really. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, let's, you know, let's talk about your training every day. Uh, you know, how, how do you get up and train? You know, how do you stay prepared uh, every day? I do a lot. Run, push-ups, mid-work, bag work, losing weight. Okay. What aspects of training do you find the most challenging? Cardio. Cardio. That's, that's really challenging right there. Uh, what about cardio you find challenging? The running. No, running, sprints, laps. It's challenging right there. Is it the endurance that kind of, you know, uh, makes it the most challenging thing, kind of just having that consistency with it yeah. the whole time? Yeah. Okay, I understand that, I understand that. Do you follow any special diet or nutrition plan? Uh, fruit, fruit really, fruit. What kind of fruits do you like to eat? Pineapple, watermelon, strawberries, that's it, really. Okay, were all those your favorite fruits growing up or you just kind of got into that habit? I got, I got to it, I got to it. Okay, cool. You got any favorite vegetables or nah? Nah. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So, how do you prepare mentally before every fight? Pray. Always pray. Okay. So you have a heavy relationship with God that you know that keeps you walking with uh, every fight and every day. You get up. Yes, sir. Okay, that's good to hear. And you know, and how you know, and what? How do you? And I'll ask this: How does your physical training, you know, help you with your mental preparation? Keeps me humble, and uh, don't have to worry about fighting and all that. Worry about people messing with me or nothing. So I stay humble. Okay, cool, all right. So what's been the uh, most significant moment of your career so far? What's been the biggest moment that has just made you like, yeah, I really wanna do this? Mm. Watching pros win titles and getting known. Okay, speaking of any pros, you got any uh, particular boxers that you know, you, you're a fan of or you know that you look it. after? Three. Three. Okay, let's hear some of them. We got Muhammad Ali, Javante, and uh, Mike Tyson. Okay. Who's probably like your top out of those three and why? Muhammad Ali, because the jab and the movement, head movement. Okay. So you like to uh, model some of your boxing after that? Yeah. Okay. I would assume you like Mike Tyson and Tank for kind of their ferocity in the ring. Knockouts. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that nice little right swing. Okay, cool. So what's your uh, strategy for climbing the ranks in your weight class? Try not to get hit, movement, and circle. Okay, so you're more of a defensive guy? Yeah. You lean on that, okay, cool. What uh, made you uh, become kind of a defensive fighter? I don't like getting hit. <laughs> like getting hit that's understandable, and we know, you know, boxing is a hidden sport, okay, but, but I, you feel like that's one of your things you've mastered over time as you, as you came. Yeah. Okay, that's good to hear. How do you set, uh, handle, you know, any setbacks or, you know, when, whether you're, you know, maybe lost a fight or, you know, had an injury, you know, how do you uh, come, come over those things at the end of the day? Get back to the lab. Keep working. Work way harder than last time so I can get, get my rematch. Okay, okay. <laughs> you say that, that's, that's, that's good to hear. So, you know, you're, you're a guy like, you know, you just chin up, you know, say it's yeah. time to get to work every day. Okay. Would you say you're an early bird gets the worm type of guy? Yeah. Yes, sir. We'd love to hear it. Okay, let's just go, you know, what do you like to do when, you know, your downtime, man, to, you know, just relax kind of after a long day of boxing and training? Play the game, really. Watch TV or sleep. What games you like to play? Uh, Call of Duty. Yeah, Warzone, Call of Duty. Call of Duty guy? Okay. Yeah. You got any favorite uh, TV shows in particular? Nah, I watch mostly anything. 
Okay, just, you know, kind of what's on TV at the time. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Good to know, man. What advice would you give to someone who just started boxing? Work hard. It's going to be hard when you first start, but just keep working. Okay, how do you, uh, how would you say you, uh, they can keep that consistent mindset like you do just, you know, to know that, you know, it's going to get better at the end of the day? Just keep practicing hard. It don't matter how hard it is. You got it. And think about becoming like a world champion or something being good and represent for your city. Okay, are those the things that you, like said, you tell yourself to inspire yourself, you know, you want to represent for your city one day, be a world champion, a world champion yourself one day? Yes, sir. Okay, it's good to hear, man. Um, you know, and I guess, would you say your motivation through, you know, keeping consistent through those tough times are that, you know, you know, one day that you will or you can be one day a leader for your city, you know, a champion for your city. Is that, you know, why you stay consistent with, you know, your everyday challenges? Yeah, yeah. got a lot of support. So it makes me go forward, move on. Okay, let's dive into that. Uh, where would you say your support system come from, really? Family, friends, and people around the world. Okay, so you feel like a lot of you got a lot of fans and yeah. the family that support you? Yeah. Okay, that's good to hear, man. Looking ahead, where do you see yourself in the next five years? Pro, like two belts. <laughs> what belts you think you, you, you want to get? WBC and I know LBC, LBC belt. I'm gonna get like two belts. Okay, let's go by 21, it's, it's, it's doable. Okay, okay. And what legacy um, do you feel like you want to leave on the world at the end of the day? Cause you know, everybody can box, but everybody can't leave a legacy. So, you know, when, you know, when you're growing up and, you know, when and it's your turn and, you know, you got a 16 year old looking at you, you know, what legacy do you want to leave behind to him? You know, what message do you want to leave to him? That anybody can really become a champion one day. You just got to work real hard. You just got to stay consistent. Yep. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Aiden Anderson coming to you from Oak Cliff, Texas, a rising star. We hope to see him do big things one day. We thank you for joining us, Aiden. Thank you. Thank you for coming.